I think the common thought is uh, right now, isn't it, that the US team is a better attacking team than it was four years ago, which feels like a massive statement at the same time. What are you expecting from the US attack in their opener on Tuesday, Leslie? Big things. This attack is definitely the strength of this team and something they're going to rely heavily on going into this ATM, which Ellie Wigner <laughs> loves to refer to. <laughs> Alex Tobin and Pino have created so many goals in production the last two years, ever since they changed to this 4-3-3 system. And the reason is because they have such good chemistry. It's actually the only line that Jill Ellis has really stuck together and because of this they have so much cohesion and chemistry they know each other's movements they know where each other is going to be they're having fun and they're scoring in the run of play and on set pieces and the U.S. is going to rely heavily on them scoring big goals because the defense is a little weak and when you talk about the shift to the 4-3-3 what that's also done is allow their midfield to have a little bit more dynamic yeah Dynamic Add a little dynamic. bit more. <laughs> <laughs> dynamic movement. There you go. <laughs> and uh, with, with players, creative players coming into that fold, girls like Sam Mewis, Rose Lavelle. And when you look at the tactics of this, of this system, now they're a little bit, they offer a little bit more versatility. Whether it's shots from long range, you'll see as this play develops, it falls to Lindsey Horan and collects the ball, curls it into that back post. It's a different threat. Now it's going to force teams to come out, come out and pressure you a little bit higher, creating spaces for them to run in behind, run in deep, late runners. You see Rose LaBelle, timing of this run is key. She's patient, she waits for it. They pick her out, good finish into that far post. And then just keep an eye on Sam Mewis. She starts her run from deep, and as a number six, tracking that player, it's so difficult, because you have to try to find the balance of, do I keep going with there, do I pass her on? Trying to see, trying to keep your eye on the play in front of you, but then also know what's happening around you and behind you. And on that play, that deep run is so hard to contain, and she finishes it off well. Absolutely, and I love how they're integrating their backs into their attack. On the outside, you have Crystal and Kayla O'Hare that love to get forward. They're more attacking-minded players, and I love how they're changing and getting into different channels, right? On the flank play, it's been amazing to see Kelly get forward, for Crystal to get forward, and just even here, you got Tobin in the box, you know, playing, uh, getting a nice shot off, but which I love about this clip is that you have Pino in between your center backs, finding a different channel, Crystal finding out wide, playing it playing a uh, through ball into Haran that's finding that space, and then Roosevelt on the end of it. So that's a four-pass combination between four players that you're seeing them all in different positions, different channels of the field. It's going to be really hard to mark them throughout this tournament. And that's not all. <laughs> I mean, there's more. To, there's more. That's, that's the funny thing love about it. this team, which makes them so fantastic on the offensive side. We haven't even got to the players that are coming off the bench. And when we talk about the players coming off the bench, let's, let's, let's be honest, they would be starting on any other national team. We are talking about, you know, Kristen Press, Carly Lloyd, Mallory Pugh. These are dynamic, excellent, excellent forwards that can tear up any defense in the world. And right now, they are coming off the bench for the United States. So you have to understand how talented this squad is all the way around on the offensive side. We have mentioned it before. They are going to score a lot of goals. Imagine a, a, an opponent. When you say, okay, Alex Morgan's going off. Oh, wait a second. Carly Lloyd's coming up. <laughs> you do not have a break. It's nonstop pressure that's going to be coming at every defense in this World Cup. And we didn't even mention Jess McDonald, right? She's another player that teams are going to get tired, and she's going to come in and be able to have an impact like that. This is another a, a factor that makes the U.S. so intimidating that's going to be able to carry them through this tournament. It's just a free-flowing attack. And I think the point that you hit on with the fullbacks getting advanced, that's so hard to track and, how, and it's hard to manage. What it does do is expose them a little bit defensively. We've, we've, we've talked about that a little bit before. But when you have that many numbers into the attack, it's hard to defend against that because and the interchange as well, whether it's mm -hmm. the midfielder is going beyond the forwards, Alex Morgan dropping in a little bit deeper, playing as a playmaker. So it's going to be exciting. This is going to be a very, very exciting team to watch going forward. We were so gassed about the French team on day one. I think the U.S. is going to come out and set the bar even higher in their opening game as well. Let's hope. Let's hope. <laughs> <laughs>